Kyiv Telecom Film Company Production. Crystal Dream, Episode 1. Shura, hello. Nadiush, God bless you. How is school? Pretty well. You will be an economist. I will. What's wrong? Have you failed the exam? No, why? I passed everything perfectly. You should be proud. Yes, I'm proud. But economics, accounting, it's not for me. For you, not for you. Honey, study hard and get a higher education. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like your mother. Spend all day in this barber shop twisting curls. Oh, just look at me. Pension is meager. I went to buy myself a sweet for tea, but can't afford it. Twisting curls sounds good. I spent all my childhood with my mother at her work. And I love haircuts. What's good in it? Except you like it. Messing around with other people's hair all day long. Forget about it, Nadusha. Study hard. Well, I don't know, just... Okay, I'll find my mother. Masters of life. I see. Nadia, hi. Hi. I can give you a lift to the house. Really smooth one. I will take a walk. Can't you have a ride with me or what? I want to walk. Set enough on the bus. I see. Here, take it. With liquor. Clients gave it to my old man. No, thanks. What's wrong? I watch my figure. People get fed from sweets. Eat yourself. Bye. Bye. Balok, you aren't good for that girl. She's educated. Be quiet, old woman. What? You can shut someone else's mouth. Everyone is already talking about it. Let them talk. Here, a bonus to your pension. For me? Oh, son, thanks. I'm so lucky today. Just don't eat everything at once, otherwise you'll go crazy. Nadia will be mine. Expired or what? It will poison my long tongue. Seems okay. Ksyusha, hi. Yeah. Why are you crying? It's nothing. What's happened? So... Here. Almost nothing. I took a day off and went to the city's best salon. Why? I don't know why. Wanted to surprise Jorka. And they made a scarecrow out of me. All right, scarecrow. Well, creative. Like a nuclear explosion. Why didn't you go to my mother's dream? Well, your mom never has a free spot. And I need it done right now. Almost immediately. Nadia. Fix it, can you? Well, I don't know. Let's try. Do you remember you showed a photo of such a platinum blonde hairstyle? With such long but straight hair, do you remember? I don't know, I have to look. Let's use hair extensions, please, Nadj. You have no idea how much they charged. I don't even want to hear it. Have they gone crazy? So what, will you try? I don't know, maybe my mom is better option. Can't you hear me? She has no time. Party starts in three hours. Please, please, save me. Pretty, please. Vera, can I have perm to make it looks more pompous? My dear, what are you talking about? Listen, you're almost bald. You don't need a perm. You need masks and balms. Do you hear me? Hair care in one word. When something will grow, we will think, okay? Do it already if she wants. If she ends up bald, we will hang in line less. Vera. Oh, hello. Hi, dear. Hi. Can you make it? No cue. Excuse me? And what are we doing here? I need to trim the tips. Yeah, wait in line. Everyone is waiting, and you should. Lorca is free. Take her if you're in such hurry. No, I'd rather wait. Tomochka, don't wait. I won't have time for you now. 
Come to me in the evening, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll stop by in the evening. Zora, come here. What do you want? I ask you, Tuck, understood? Yes. The first question, are you going to the party? Of course. Ksusha and I will be there. Question number two, will Nadia be there? I guess. Yeah. Ksusha invited her. Good. No more questions. Go. Vera, you have clear pairs of hands. I looked on years younger now. Stop it. It's nice, of course. So don't forget about the balm. Dry the hair a little, and then you know what to do. Style it with a hair dryer, okay? Yes, of course. Do you like it? Very much. Well, I'm glad. Thank you. Don't mention it. My ears. Don't touch my ears. You're gonna cut them. I know how to do my job. Sheep are cut more gently. Tenderness he wanted. Stepanich, don't make me angry. Otherwise, I will cut off your ear for real. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Is it possible to get a haircut or you're closed? We are already closed, and it's true, but Lorca still has a client, so we have some time. Sit down, please, yes? Drop it right here. Please. Please. Well, what do you want? We'll make it shorter. But not too much. Well, that's okay. All right. Let's wash our hair. Yes, yes. Be careful. Don't lie down yet. Now you can. A little bit. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. Wow! Ha! <laughs> Good evening. Whoa, hush, hush. Senya, are you backed? I'm fine. It was a spoiled herring. Of course, herring. And beer with vodka. Vice versa. For how long should I teach you? Vodka and then beer. You here. You are drunk. Do you get it? What? Get lost, dude. You are loaded. Cash, are you okay? What's going on? Hi, bro. Guys, when did you drink that much? You didn't waste time. We're sober. I see your soberness. Bro, why are you late? Folks, remember, the boss isn't late. The boss has his time. It's clear? Clear. Try it. Remarkably. Great. Tell us what the atmosphere is like. How are the chicks? All set. Chicks are fire. <laughs> Let's go. We will have a smoke. Okay, I'm leaving. See ya. Look at you. You're the most beautiful at the party. What's up? Hi. Hello. Here I am. What would you drink? Jorik sits here. It's fine. He moves. I asked what you would like to drink. I'm already drinking water. Sparkling. Yeah, I see. Worry about your health again. Hey. A decanter of vodka and a martini for the lady. I told you I don't drink. It's just an offer. Hi. Hello? Cheers, bro. Cheers. It seems I took your place. Do you mind? No, no, I'll sit there. What would you like to drink? It's on me. For real? Just kidding. Of course for real. Give them what they want, I'll pay. 
Then red wine for me and beer for him. Why beer? That's right, right. You drink vodka with me. Here. So, to friendship. To friendship. Nadia, why don't you drink? She disdains your friendship. Aren't we your friends? See? You can when you want. Bring some snacks. Salads, slices, whatever. All right? Juices. So? The second toast? May I? Go ahead. Let's drink to love. To love. Well said. Let's go. Nadia, come on. Hooray! Nadia. To your love. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Well, now let's drink to our love. All right, I'm going home. Wait, wait. It was a joke, just a joke. Nadia, we're good. Let's stay a little longer and then we'll go home all together. All right. One more. One more, come on. No, 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 I won't drink. I have to take the girls home. As you wish. Let's go dancing. Come on. Well, how do you like it? Do you know that you have an amazing talent? Stop it. I am an ordinary hairdresser. Would you look at the back of the head? No, I trust you. How much do I owe you? Price is 150. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come again. What a prominent man. It's clear he's the boss. And here is our boss. Good evening, Victor. Evening. Prepare the money. I'm ready. Dragina, are you falling short of the norm again? It's not me. It's all Virka. She takes away the best clients. Her chair is honey screamed or whatever. And by the way, I'm a graduate professional. I see your professionalism. Victor, can you talk to her? Because it's unfair. We need to have an equal number of clients. Then I will have income. I'll talk. I will. All right, enough. Go home. Goodbye, Victor. Victor, hold on. Hold on. Lorca is dumping on me. I can't force clients to go to her. I can't. First of all, well done. And secondly, listen, Vera, I won't fire her. You are always tired. Imagine what will happen without her. Well, as you wish. Vera, listen, maybe we can make it somehow and... Victor, please stop. We have discussed it. We agreed we won't do it. I'm sorry. Anatoly, what did I tell you about being drunk? What are you telling? I celebrated a salary with my boys. Beer and that's it. Beer? Yes. You can barely stand. Why it's always me? Why me? Where is the salary? Here. Here. For every penny. Well, there's a dozen missing, but I know my norm, Toma. You're my disaster. Don't say that. Yeah. You will sleep on the sofa. Yeah. And take off your shoes. Vera, you promised to dye my hair. Oh, listen, I'm terribly tired. I'm sorry. I... Well, all right, but let's eat first, okay? Okay. Let's go. Come in. Okay. Your borscht is something. Thank you. Don't mention, I love it. Thank you, dear. Have you left something for yours? Why would I? He came drunk. Today is a salary day. I can't do it anymore. Oh, stop it. He drinks to celebrate his paycheck once a month. So what? He's a perfect man the rest of the time. You are right. 
He works and takes care of the garden. There we go. Does housework. Well, yes. Have you heard something about your Vasya? Are you nuts? He is not mine, Lord. And for long he got married and had a daughter. My Vasya. I heard that he became a big boss in the region. Well, good for him. What do I have to do with it? Maybe give you a hand of help with Nadia? I never asked him for anything. I don't need it. I can make it myself. All by herself? Yeah. You are wrong. Did he impregnate you? Sure he did. Did you promise to marry? Sure he did. And then flee to study? To build a career? Now he has a career and a wife too. But what about you? Dropped out of school and went to work in order to support Nadia. All covered in other people's hair. Everyone survives as they can. Definitely you were born with the talent. And yes, you're the best in our area, or maybe in the region. And you're such a beautiful woman, juicy as teens say. But you have no luck with them. Well... Let's take your Victor as an example. Don't talk about him, please. I have had enough of him at work. I don't want to see him. I don't want to hear him. Grass. Is he hitting on you? Trying to. I'm sorry. I shut my mouth. You promised to dye my hair. Lord, if I promised, I will sit down and eat. Delicious, isn't it? It's amazing. Mother, the old man hasn't come yet? I asked you not to call me mother. My own mother asked me not to call her mother. How can I understand this? Go to your room and play some games. Okay, mom. My old games are for children. Although my graphics card is old, and I can't play advanced games. You promised you would shake money out of dad. And I will. I'll shake his soul out of him. Go to your room. Are you going to tell him? To your room. Hey, Dad. Hi, Misha. Finally. I'm going to bed. Go. The hairdresser closes at night. You need half an hour maximum to pick the income, and now it's 11. I wonder where you have been. Do I have to report every minute? No, just for the hours you spend in your favorite hairdresser. Listen, all right. How many times do I have to repeat it? I have a business relationship with Savilyeva. What are you talking about? Yeah, and by the way, she makes almost all my money. Here. I... Listen, Misha needs some new windows or whatever. Can I have some money? If he needs it, you can buy something for yourself. Well, I work for you and for our son. Tell me the truth. Isn't there something going on between you and Virka, huh? Listen. She is my worker. And you are my beloved wife. Beloved? Prove it. I missed you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let me take a quick shower and end in 15 minutes. No. Then I won't go. Come on. I'm waiting for you in the bedroom. All right. <laughs> wow. The club is just packed. Hey, listen. Why are you staring at this curly-haired girl? Me? Not me, definitely. I looked at you all the time. Is it true? <laughs> Jora, people around. Where can you see them? Everywhere, Jora. Well, okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Want some wine? No, thanks. 
Cut it up. Have some. I've had enough. And you, by the way, too. Okay. So, let's dance? I'm going home. Wait, where are you going? Let's dance, shall we? Cool party, yeah? Dance! Huh? Why can't you dance with me, huh? That's it. I had enough of you. Ksusha! Let's go! Come, sit here! What the hell? Well, it's none of my business. Nadia is such a fool. Why is she like that? Valok is hitting on her for a long time. Well, bitch. I tried to be good, but you didn't want it. Let me go. Stop. Stop. What? I'll do it. Do what? Undress myself. Okay. Just... Come on. Open the window. It's stuffy here. Okay. Good, okay, right. Right now. Come on. Wait, wait. Wait, first you. Yes? Come on, yes. Come on, yes. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. And you are so shy. Yes, I was. Come here. Wait, wait, wait. I'll undress, just turn back, okay? I'm shy, you said it. All right, okay. Come on. Come on. Interesting idea. Oh, you're bitch. Hold her. Bitch. Bitch. Is it funny? I said, is it funny? If you make a sound, I will kill you. Let's go quickly. What happened? I'll explain later. Come on, start it up. Well, do you like it? Oh, Vera. <laughs> Such a shame that you're stuck in our hole. Don't be ridiculous. What? Where do I belong? Paris. At least. <laughs> Stop it. You don't understand how talented you are. You need to think about it. Yes. Yes, I can think of anything but Nadia's future. You know, I've been working hard for all my life. Saved up money to transfer her to the head university. What will she do? Who needs that diploma? Yeah, you are right. Unfortunately, my daughter is silly. Well, what? She didn't want to study and got a job at meat picking plant. Only dances are on her mind. And mine doesn't want to go to university. I'm not talking about the transfer. Strange. Strange. And what does she want? She has a dream, you know. She wants to become a hairdresser. Can you imagine? Yeah. All my life I worked my butt off. I didn't want my child to follow in my footsteps. So that she would have a normal life, will become someone. And she has a dream. Dream. Your dreams don't match. Tomka, don't mention it. I'll kill her. I will kill the bitch. Look for my stuff. What is it, Sanya? Is it funny? Just love your panties. Funny? Have I warned you? Sure I have. Is it funny? Is it funny? Cool. For real. It was brave. But be careful. He won't forgive you for that. Wherever I go, his mark is everywhere. It's annoying. Maybe it's love? He wants to get under my skirt. Love. I will never sleep with him. Hell no. Okay, guys. 
I will leave you. Bye. All right. Bye. Senia, isn't it time for you to go home? I'm going, Dad. I'm going. And Grigori, I'll tell you that. Yes, I got it, Uncle Tolly. I got it. Dad, what are you doing? Do you have a conscience? Enough. If you don't look at the time, at least look at the weather. Dad, why are you embarrassing me? Aren't you cool? No. No? It's warm coat. You definitely have a lover. People speak the truth. Clara. What, Clara? Clara. Take your hand away. I'm just tired. Tired? Well, yes, I'm tired. Are you a loader? Tired. You open the office, close it, and count the money. Tired. I don't see a reason to be tired. Just look at him. Snoring already. A pig. Nadia! Nadia, stop! What are you guys doing? I'm late for the bus. Valyok beat Sanya Smirnov yesterday. He is at the hospital now. It's all because of your stupid jokes. He took all his anger on him. So what? If he rocks the boat, I will write a statement for a rape attempt. You won't prove anything. Well, yes. The whole town is under his dad. Whom will the cops believe? All right. And what do I supposed to do? Beg for mercy. So I want. Okay, guys, bye. Bye. You and Vera need to share the load. Then there will be no queues and profits will rise. Oh yeah? But how to share it, if all the clients are waiting for her? Because you need to know how to do your job. Am I not good at work? Piotr, what brought you here? Where is Verka? She's not here yet. What happened? Do you know what her little skank did? No. What happened? Ask Vera. We are Talmachovs, and I won't let anyone do that to my son. What did she do? What did she do? Ask goddamn grannies what she did. Her Nadia should be at the club this evening at 8, and she will apologize to Valentine. Everyone must see it. And I don't give a damn how she gonna do it. She can crawl on her knees or whatever, and if she doesn't show up, then this hole of yours will cease to exist. I'll open a butcher shop here, do you hear me? And you will sweep the floor at 8. That's it. God. And what did Nadia do? Where is Vera? How do I know? Why don't you know? I'm listening. What did your daughter do to Valik Tolmachev, huh? Listen closely. Find her and brainwash her. I don't want our hairdressers to be closed. Yes, it is. I got it. Victor, what should I do? Work, Drigina. Today might be our last day before being shot. What you looking at? Nadia, where are you? For long? Immediately go home after your class. Yes, it's urgent. You heard me. I'm waiting for you. All right.
Is it a cold brew? Maybe vodka? Hell no, man. I don't drink vodka anymore. Otherwise, I'm blown away. Have you seen Sanya? By the way, why didn't you stop me? I could kill him. You... You said it. You're crazy when drunk. Oh, yeah. Well, how's Sanya now? Like shit. I broke his head and put him in the hospital. Wow. And what now? Nothing. We're good. Dad gave him and his parents some money so they won't report me. And Nadia? Huh? Will you beat me too? Are you dumb? Guys, if you raise a hand against a woman, you don't respect yourself. Nadia will beg for forgiveness on her knees. A strip dance would work as well. I haven't decided yet. I vote for a dance. And me. Cut it out, guys. Nadia is only mine. Therefore, the dance will be private. Maybe a beer, at least. So, come on, come on, come on. I could talk to Tomachov and explain everything. Mom, don't you dare humiliate yourself. Mad, can you apologize? Or maybe it would be better to jump into his bed. He's just waiting for this. Wherever looks, the situation is shit. I know only one thing. The Talmachos won't leave you be. Yes. It's simple. I have to leave Zagorsk. What? Yes, yes, and preferably today. I will transfer to the head university. Mom, that's what you wanted. And the father, can he help? Your father? Are you sure? Well, do I have a choice? Okay, I'll call him. Vera? I didn't expect your call. Did something happen? Yes, it did. Our Nadia is going to stay with you. Just like that, and when? Today. It needs to be done. Can you help her? What kind of help do you need? She needs to transfer from our college to your university. I know you have connection there, you studied there, so... I would never contact you in any other situation but this one. And yet explain what happened. She broke the law and they are looking for her. For God's sake, no. She didn't break the law and she is a great student. She will come and tell you everything herself. Vasya, will you help? Yes, tell me what time she leaves. I'll meet her. Does she have my mobile number? I'll give it to her. Then I'm waiting. Thank you, Vasya. Bye. So, it's done. Pack your things. Your father is waiting for you. He'll meet you. All right. Thanks, God. And the documents. We need to get the documents. Papers, papers. Your dean gets her haircut every month, so there won't be problems with the documents. Get ready quickly. Go. So, your dream came true, Vera. As the saying goes... There was no happiness, but unhappiness helped. Come to me, girls. Vika, I'm home. Right on time. We'll have lunch in a couple of minutes. Wash your hands. Dinner will wait. I wanted to discuss something with you. Can't we do this at the table? As your father says, you can't discuss important things at dinner. Well, okay. Talk, I'm listening. Let's sit down, Vika. My daughter, Nadia, is moving in today. 
to us? To our city. I promised to help her with the transfer to the university. That's how. So they finally look back at you. Vika, you know that Vera and Nadia never asked me for anything. I have to help them now. Good. Unless it affects the interests of our family. This will have nothing to do with our family. Great. Let's have some lunch. That's not all. Do you mind if Nadia stays in Christina's room for a while? Well, while our girl is studying in London. What? Are you crazy? It's impossible. Why? The room is empty. It is not empty. There are Christina's things. Her favorite childhood toys are there, her books. You know very well that I haven't touched anything there since she left. And for me personally, our girl is always present in this house. I won't let a complete stranger into her room. She will touch her personal belongings. She will sleep in her bed. How do you imagine it? Okay, all right. Don't be mad. Please, don't get angry. I wanted the best. Exactly. The best for your daughter. And what about me? And then, if she is transferred to university, she should have the right to a student's dorm, right? Yes, you're right. Sorry. I'm her father, and I have to deal with it myself. That's right. Go wash your hands. It's lunchtime. Listen, when you arrive, give me a call, all right? Okay. Your father's number is on your phone. Yeah. Don't waste the money and don't mess with anyone. Do you know how many scammers are out there? They can deceive you in a second. Be a good girl and study. Understood? Yes, I got it. Nadia, don't forget about me and call. I'm not leaving for Mars, of course. I'll call, I will call everyone, and you call me. Everything gonna be fine. All right. Love you. I love you. Love you. Nadia. Look at those chicks. Hey, Valok, don't worry, maybe she shows up later. Yeah. It's nine o'clock. Bitch blew me off. That's right, blew you off. You know what? She really got me. I'll fucking kill her. What now? Will you call your dad again? Nah. I'll figure it out myself. Victor? Yes? I have zero revenue today. So why are you sitting here? You're free. Go home. Go. Victor? And by the way, did your Nadia apologize to Valok? She packed her stuff and left. I don't get it. How's that? She left. Wait, how did she leave? And what will... what will happen to us? Tolmachev will close us. Why are you silent? Listen, you're the man, you're the boss. Figure it out with Tolmachev by yourself. What? Don't pretend that you don't know. Nadia didn't come to the club today. She had completely lost her sense. His father asked to talk to her. I did. I spoke to her honestly. She doesn't listen to me. She just packed her things and left. How's that? Where to? I don't know. She left. She didn't tell me. So that's how. All right, I'll deal with it myself. There are so many beautiful girls. Why can't you leave her alone? Tell me. I don't know. 
Maybe I have this. Love, right? What if she doesn't love you? I don't care. I'm going to marry Nadia. And you will still be my mother-in-law. I know what I want. Wait! What about my hairdresser? Get lost. Work for now. What was that? Are we safe? Careful. Why are you standing here, cow? Nadia. Forgive me for God's sake. I was in a hurry, but there are terrible traffic jams in the city. Good day. We're no strangers, and... And let's immediately agree to be on a first-name basis. Good. That's right. Tired? Hungry? Very. And I was scared. What are you afraid of? I thought you... You won't meet me. Silly, I promised. Although you should have called. I couldn't, it's broken. We'll settle that quickly. Well, let's go. Such a nice car. You'll see a lot more, Nadia. Your new life starts now. So the plan is next. First, we buy you a new phone and some more little things. But now dinner. What cuisine do you prefer? I don't know. I'm a fan of Italian. Let's go. Dial her again. I've already dialed a thousand times. Doesn't pick up. What if something happened? Everything is fine. Maybe the connection is bad. It happens. Well, she'll call back. We should wait. Wait. Yeah. Knock, knock. What's that? Why do you have the door wide open? Why steal from us? I've been sitting here for too long, I'll go. No, no, Tomachka, it's not true, come on. Moreover, we have a cake, right? Let's drink tea. Yes? That's right. And we will not refuse cognac if Victor treats. Yeah, treats. Where... is the knife? Where is the knife? At the kitchen. And put the kettle on, Mr. Victor. I will. Thank you, Dad. It was delicious. Spaghetti bolon... Bolognese. And tiramisu, right? And tiramisu. Where are we now? Home. To your? Nope. To your home. And where is this? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Dad, this is awesome. Will I live here? Do you like it? Yes. How much does it cost? 
Dad, Mom gave me money and said that she would send more. Forget about the money. I will pay for the apartment. I don't know what to say. You haven't seen the kitchen yet, shall we? Let's go. So beautiful. By the way, here is a dishwasher. I never used it. I'll teach you. And the fridge. Dad? When did you make it? I know how to properly plan my time. I have to arrange your transfer to the university. It will be difficult since it is the middle of the year, but even here we're lucky. The dean of the faculty is my old friend, and he will certainly help us. Dad, you know what? What? You're the best. Well, I'm your father. Why didn't I come to you earlier? Let's have tea with... with Jem. I brought it from Zagorsk. My mother made it. It's homemade and... Another time. It's time to go. Tomorrow? Will I see you tomorrow? Not. We will see each other often. Will we call each other? We will. Take it. Dad, no need. Take it. Money is not a problem. Thank you. All right. Don't walk me. I'll close the door. Goodbye. Thank you. Mom, mom, mom. Recent. Mom, 46 missed calls. 46 missed calls. The cake is the freshest. At least try a piece, Vera. Can't get a piece down my throat. So moisten your throat. Victor, open the cognac already. The ladies are waiting. Well, if you're waiting... Won't she call? She will. Where are the glasses? Oh, Lord. See it, I'll do it. Hello? Hello, Mommy. Hi. I'm sorry my phone is broken, but Dad bought me a new one. My dear, I almost went crazy. And he rented an apartment for me and bought... A bunch of things, and the apartment is just kind of crazy here. Yes, I don't know how much it cost. No, he said he would pay for it. Yeah. Well, good. That's it. Yes. And I love you. I love you very much. Call me later, okay? I'm so happy, Mom. That's all for now. Bye. Bye, honey. Everything is fine. Yes. We can drink now. Come on, poor Victor. It's time for a drink. Yes. Wait a second. Yes, honey? Where am I? Well, where? At work? That's right. At first I went to the city for hair dyes, all kinds of balms and preparations. Then I took it all home. That's right. There is no one in the hairdressers. Everyone is gone. Yes. Listen, if you don't believe me, come and check everything yourself. Yes. That's right. So I'm on my way home. Yes, I will be soon. Yeah, kisses. So, uh... That's it. It's time for me to go. We understand. Give my love to your wife. Vera, I wanted to... Yeah. <laughs> what a cheapskate. Although the cake was nothing. Why did I take out my glasses? Why? Look, I have homemade liquor in the shelf. All just like we love. The best for us. Here? Come on. Yes. Shall we? <sighs> to Nadia. And happiness. Cheers.
Kyiv Telecom Film Company Production. Crystal Dream, Episode 2. Vika, I'm home. Hi. Well, did you meet her? Of course. And where is your daughter? About that, we're so lucky. Max Dolzhansky's friend went to Spain for a year. He has some work to do there. And he asked Max's mother-in-law to look after the apartment. And so Max offered it to Nadia. And how much will this apartment cost? Don't offend me. Max's friends are my friends. Nadia will live there absolutely free of charge. There's even a communal paid for a year in advance. Well, yes, really lucky. And do you know how you go in to transfer her? Good luck here, too. Max holds the position of dean at the university, and we agreed on almost everything with him. So you owe him? A bottle of good whiskey. This is the maximum. It is strange that Dolzhansky is so into teaching. You've been in business together, right? I think he did very well. He did, but once he said his heart's not in business. Although teaching is his strong point. And then he had an offer from the university. Max is doing well, and he helped with Nadia's transfer. I didn't know that you are still friends. Vika, university friendship is not forgotten. So far, everything is going well. It only remains to introduce you to Nadia, if you don't mind, of course. No, I don't. I would love to meet the mistake of your youth. Vika, she's wonderful. She's a well-mannered girl, I assure you. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. I'll go take a bath. It's easier and faster. Thanks, I didn't catch it. Cool phone. How much? I don't know. Dad bought it. Nice. I'm Marina. And your name? I'm Nadia. I came from Zagorsk. I will transfer to the second course. Is it possible to transfer in the middle of the year? Dad promised to deal with the den. Huh. Well, then maybe we will be in the same group. It would be nice, because I don't know anyone and don't feel right. Gotcha. Wait, I will help you. Thank you, I'm being so clumsy. No problem. Only in your condition, I would not recommend using this hair dye. Why? It has a strong and aggressive chemistry. You need hair dyes with natural ingredients to not harm the baby. The safest options are henna or basma, but considering your color, they most likely won't fit. You can make a light coloring on the foil and use shading shampoo. Well, I can hardly do the coloring myself, and it's getting harder and harder for me to walk. That's why I wanted to dye my hair at home. I can help. I'll dye your hair. Do you study here? I would love to. Then maybe see you again. Oh. Hi. Nadia, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged student of our university. Your classes start tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. The department is on a fee basis, but your father will take care of everything. Once again, good job. See you soon. Thank you. Did you hear that? Well done. So my offer is to go get a drink and celebrate your success. What do you mean? There is a cafe nearby. Come on, let's chat. I'll tell you about the university and you tell me about yourself. Let's go to my place. My dad rented an apartment nearby and bought me so much food. I can't handle it myself. Well, good idea. But we'll buy sparkling wine first. How do you know the dean's wife? I don't. I helped a stranger. Where are you going? I decided to bring beauty to this world. Maybe my husband will love me more. I'm going to dream. To this was her name, Savieliva, right? She had a busy schedule. Busy? It's okay. She will take me without an appointment. 
Bye, darling. Bye. And yet, I still don't get it. Is it a fish or... or what? It's not a fish, it's oysters. Is it good? Have you tried it? No, we don't have that in Zagorsk. Well, the taste is specific, but it's gonna be fine with champagne. And it's healthy, especially for men. By the way, do you have a boyfriend in Zagorsk? No, I haven't thought about guys. Well, maybe it's for good. Otherwise, we would be bored as hell and I wouldn't hang out with you. By the way, how about a party? I don't know. And I do. You can organize a solid party here. With a long range. I'm sorry, I do not understand you. You're speaking Martian to me now. Here, I will explain. We have that guy at the university. His name is Oleg. When I look at him, I am trembling. Really? Yeah, and I kept thinking where I can hook up with him. The dorm is not an option, obviously. And here you are with your cool apartment. By the way, he has a friend, Seroga. He is also good looking. We can arrange a double date. I don't feel like going out now. I'm not talking about double dates. Listen, do it for me. I want him to see me as a woman. Do you get it? And so he won't think I'm running after him. He will come with a friend and I will bring you as my friend. Yeah, I see. Like people from higher circles do it. I need one good excuse. When is your birthday? July 15th. Uh, yeah, that's not it. Oh, I got it. What? Your transfer. You want to celebrate your successful transfer, but you haven't got any friends, just me. With this, I can go to Oleg and say, listen, the girl needs help, support, let's introduce her to the company, and it's done. Are you down? Well, the silence is a sign of consent. Only I need to do something with my hair. Can you lend me? Can you? We are sisters now. I can or I can do your hair. My mother is a very good hairdresser, and I picked up everything from her since childhood. So what? All right. Come on. I'm begging you, please, don't use the curling iron anymore. Deal? Yes, I won't do it anymore. Thanks. Don't mention it. How much? Well, look at the price list. Hello? Oh, Clara, hello. Victor isn't here. I don't need Victor. I'm here for Verochka. Your timetable is packed. My chair is free. Sit here. I think Verochka will find time for me, right? Hold it. Well, all right, sit down, please. Fortunately, I have some time. Uh, hold your hair, please. Okay. What do you want today? Everyone praises you so much, so I'm gonna trust you completely. Do as you see it. I want to close my eyes, open them at the end, and see the beauty. Okay, let's go. Whoa, Nad, you're on fire. Well, I'm just learning. My mom is the real master. Why do you need a university? You can make money on it. Doc. Everyone needs to see this beauty. Let's go out. I'll show you the city, yeah? What have you done? What? You have cut all my hair. I trusted you and you even didn't talk to me, didn't consult. You cut all my hair. It's fashionable, it's beautiful, it's... Is it fashion? Yes. Is it beautiful? You do not understand anything about fashion. I'll show you how to style it. My husband praises you so much. That's right. Victor loves our Vera. Excuse me? I mean, appreciates her as a specialist. Now I see what specialists are you and why he praises you and for what. Something is... I feel sick. Please forgive me. I... Laura, finish it, please. Goodbye. Excuse me. 
And how often does this happen? I don't even know what to tell you. Clara, don't be so upset. I'll correct everything in no time. God, my hair. When I arrived, I spent a whole week walking. I wanted to see everything. Where are you from? I'm from a place where Yozagorsk will be considered the center of civilization. By the way, do you want to go to the club? No. It's kinda late. Remember, this city never sleeps. Moreover, Oleg should hang out with his friends there. Let's go, I'm introduce you. What the hell? Where is Vera? I don't know. Dropped her tools and left. What? What don't you understand? Your wife came here, sat down in her chair. Vera made such a face. You should have seen her, but still began to cut. And then, boom! Scissors fell straight to the floor. She said she felt bad and asked me to finish the haircut. And she left. Maybe she's sick? Maybe. Or maybe she had some other reason. How should I know? Victor, sometimes I feel so sorry for you. Why is that? Your wife twists you round her finger. Vera ignores you. Maybe you should... You should turn your attention to someone else. Go to work, Dragona. Don't give me any rubbish. Don't forget to close the salon. I won't. I don't need you to. How do you like it? Cool. Almost like in Zagorsk. They are at the bar. This is Oleg. And this is Sergei. Is Oleg wearing black? No, that's Sergei. Let's go. I'll introduce you to them. Come on. Just like that? Of course. Oh? Hey, Marinka. Did you come to hang out? Well, something like that. It's Nadia. Meet Oleg and Sergei. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. What do you drink? Nothing. Two glasses of champagne, please. Two glasses of champagne, please. I don't want to drink. Whether you want it or not, you can't refuse. Thanks. Well, for an unexpected pleasant meeting. Shall we dance? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Where is your brunette? She's not mine. We're just chatting. Oh, I see. You're sociable. Sometimes. Are you not? Where are you from? Zagorsk. Zagorsk? Zagorsk. Well, how do people live there in Zagorsk? Like everyone. Are you local? Yeah. Cool. So you just left? Just like that. Clara tortured me. And Laura, pain in my ass. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, nothing? Yeah? Do you think so? I'm not fired. Fired? Don't be silly. Where could he find such a master? You make all his money. Clients come to you from all over the region. I'm tired of him and his harassments. 
Um, are there any other options? So... Ready? Hot. Eat while it's hot. Thank you. And you? All my fridge is full of them. Ksusha probably already cooked a whole pan and waiting for me and her father. So are you going to work tomorrow? Yeah, and pretend as nothing happened. Got it? I'll try. That's good. Okay, gotta go. Thank you, dear. Enjoy. Just a minute. Hello? Yes, hi, mommy. Hello. Drink. Nadia. Nadia, I barely can hear you. What kind of music is that? You're not at home? Are you? I don't hear you. I'm at home, yeah. The TV is kind of loud. I'm getting ready for the lecture. It's more fun. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, just... Nadia. I miss you. I say I miss you a lot. Well, let's have a call tomorrow, I don't want to bother you. Okay, let's have a call in the evening. Love you. Bye. Who called? Mom. Okay. My mother also bothered me until I explained that it wasn't necessary to stalk me around. She doesn't stalk me, she's just worried. By the way, tomorrow Nadia is having a housewarming party. And since she doesn't know anyone here, you're invited. Right? Yes, I will be glad to see you. Cool. Time and place? Probably in the evening. After classes, we'll text you the address and dial your number. Marina, let's go. I have to get up early tomorrow. Let's stay. No, I'll go. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Nadia. Ah, here you are. This is you, Vera. She is a joke. Such a big mess. She doesn't deserve to work here. Strange. She always does well. Throwing tools, is it what you call good? Is that good? Look at me now. I have been growing my hair for ages. Well, Laura finished your haircut. All right, you know it. Your precious Vera was so rude to me. Do you know that? I'm not just a client, I'm your wife. You should fire her, do you hear me, for her rudeness. Okay, all right. I've never noticed a sign of her rudeness. Moreover, I haven't heard customers' complaints. Doesn't my complaint count? Doesn't it count? Tell me, why are you protecting her? Tell me. Huh? Okay. Why are you protecting her? Are you sleeping with her? Listen, honestly, I'm tired of all that. Vera is my best master. I only sleep with you. Come to me. Come. You know what, I... Come here. I don't believe you anymore, Vitya. All right, why? Don't touch me. And I will no longer sleep with you until you fire with Vera. Sleep here, on the couch. Well, how do you like him? Good material, but I didn't understand typology. Nerd. How do you like him as a man? He's cute. Cute? All girls have a crush on him. What's wrong with you? Nadia, can I have you for a moment? Yes, of course. Okay. So, do you like our university? Yes, so far so good. Hello there. Hi. Well... I'm glad. 
I wish you all the best. If there are any problems, please contact me directly, without any hesitation. Thank you. Say hello to your old man. I will. Hello. Hey. By the way, Dolzhensky is her father's best friend. Such a nice acquaintance. So you'd better be friends with us, boys. And please, don't be late today. We'll be on time, at 7. Well, which one do you like? I would choose Marina. She's just so... Well, you got it. Nadia is nice too, but too shy. However, her father has money. And this is a bonus. Is it so? Well, yes, you're right. The main thing for a girl is to be wild. Listen, don't you mind if I hit on Marinka? Give it a shot. Really? Yeah. Oh, Vera, thank God I got here. Now do your magic. Why do you need it? Are you trying to hit on someone? So stop it. We don't have enough for a young woman. You'd be better off thinking about your soul. Why are you trying to have my funeral so soon? Maybe I want to dance at my great-grandchildren's weddings. Or maybe I'll get married. It's very funny. Anyway, you just in time. Victor is about to fire our Vera. How come? For what? For real? Did Victor hit his head? Who's going to make us beautiful? Is it you, ham-handed person? I have your haircut done. Why do you call me a ham-handed? And I have the highest category. Should I show it? For what do I need your diploma? I need a haircut. And remember, Laura, you will be beaten not for a diploma, but for hair dust. Chura, sit still, otherwise I won't make a straight line. Good? Sit still. Watch and learn. A diploma. Remember, Oleg is mine, Sergei is yours. I don't want him. Did you like Oleg? I won't let you. Marina, I don't need both of them. We started all just for you. Take a closer look at Siroga. It's them. All right. <laughs> Hey, guys. Hey. Nice to meet you. We kind of know each other. What? Nice to meet you. People say then they meet each other. In this case, it better to say glad to see you. Who cares? So we brought something to the party. There's some champagne, whiskey and chocolate. Thank you. Well, come on in. Take off your stuff. Feel free to leave your shoes on. Thanks. Shall we? To a new friend. <sighs> Marina, you are very beautiful today. I'm always beautiful. <laughs> Let's drink to beauty. Agree. Come on, to the beauty. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And Nadia. Don't I still have some? Yeah, I will add a little bit. Just a little bit. Here. So, cheers to men. And women. It's so boring. Oleg, poor, I have a toast. I also have a toast. We have gathered today to congratulate Nadia. I don't know what people give in such cases, so here. Oh, thank you. It's nice. Yes, we're glad that you moved to our city and transferred to our university. Therefore, we wish you only good luck. Thank you, guys. Yes, we are all very happy for you, Nadia. Let's finally have a drink. Let's have it. Go, go, go. Congrats to Nadia. Congrats. Nadia, take a picture of me with Oleg. Yes, of course.
Victor, good evening. Evening. Get the money. I'm all set. Here. Excellent. Do you need a special invitation? Why did you freeze like the Eiffel Tower? Go home. Vera, explain me what's going on. Vera, I'm not a little boy. I don't know how to get closer to you. If you're so cold because of Clara, well, wife is not a wall. You can move her. I'm not a kid, Vera. Listen. Vera, listen to me. Damn it. You're probably right. Now is not the time or place. Close everything. Girls, what do you want? Champagne for me. Champagne? Nadia? Do you want something? No, I want juice. It's in the kitchen. Sit. I'll bring it. How do you like the music? Cool. What about me? And your fire. I'll be right back. Listen, could you take Nadia out for two hours? What do you mean? Should I repeat it twice? Oh. Do you want to get horizontal, right? Fun. Well, I am cool with it, but what if she doesn't agree? Make sure she agrees. Children, children, children. Well, we have juice, but alcohol is a problem. Therefore, Nadyush, come with me for booze. There was a lot of alcohol. Champagne is gone, and I want champagne. Let's go, come on, come on. Good, since you want it so badly. Do you know what I desire the most now? Champagne. That they never come back. I want a drink. Oh, 
All the shops are closed in Zagors at this time. It's possible to buy only Shura's moonshine. Why are you in a rush? Why? Marina wants the champagne so badly. She didn't need a champagne. She wanted to stay with Oleg. What do you mean? What do I mean? Well, I guess they are banging like rabbits, and we are having a solid walk. So that's what it's all about? It's horrible. Yes, just a nightmare. What's wrong with you? Or are you all like that in Zagorsk, huh? Why can't you relax? Let me teach you, huh? Let's stay together today. When they are done, I can show you the magic. You're gonna like it. Get your hands off me. Do you think if I'm from Zagorsk, I'm a fool? I came here to study, not to relax. Understood? Country girl. Hey, where did you go? Damn. Why are you like that? Like what? That's it. Shy. Are you afraid of me? No. Don't you like me? I do. You are badass. That's it. I... I can't do it. We're back. Here is champagne. Just for you. No, thanks. Why are you back so quickly? It's cold outside. Oleg did not have time to warm me. He will try harder next time. Just not in my apartment, all right? Okay, no problem. Now it's your turn. Let's go, Alec. I don't remember getting in a queue. If you needed my apartment for a hookup, you could say it. Why did you have to come up with all sorts of parties? You're so stupid, Nadia. I want you to leave. So you're kicking us out? Nadia, it all went crazy somehow. We were cool, right? We were. That's enough. Let me help. I don't need help. I'll do it myself. What don't you understand? Let's get out of here. I'm sorry. Wait a second. I'm coming. Who's there? Hey. Hello. Been waiting for me. Hold on. Why would I wait for you? Vera. Yeah? We need to talk. By the way, this is for you. Thanks. Talk about what? About what? We need to sort out our relationship. Oh, God, again? We don't have any relationship. I'm already sick of it all. Vera. I don't get it. Oh, so you don't understand, Victor? Not at all? Well, if you don't understand, I'll help you. So listen closely. I will never... Do you hear me? Never sleep with you. Do you get it? You are harassing me. I can stand it. That's disgusting. That's it. Now you understand me. Does it mean that I'm disgusting? Yes, you are. I see. Thank you for your frankness. You're welcome. That's the end. Yes? Yeah, you're fired. I'm fired? Yes. No, well, of course. If you ask me nicely, then... Fired. Without severance pay. Hey, Nadia. Hi. I want to apologize for yesterday. We were drunk and behaved inappropriately. Sorry. It's all because of the alcohol. Well, okay. Drunks in Zagorsk could behave even worse. I can imagine. Yes. Can you tell me? I don't think it's interesting. I'm interested. 
I am. I just want to get to know you. What about Marina? Marinka, well, I have nothing to do with her. Well, maybe later, because I don't want to be late for a lecture now. I can give you a lift. All right. Sit down. Thank you. No problem. Laura, hey. Hello. Marie's Vera, I have an appointment with her at 10 a.m. Is she late? She won't be here. How's that? That's right. She was fired with the scandal. She doesn't work here anymore. Who? Vera. What are you talking about? Whatever I need to say. Wow, what is it? A leg with Natka now? They're fast. So, how are you after yesterday? Better than anyone. Hmm. Wow, you're strong. You can launch into space right now. However, I've got a headache. Listen, why wouldn't you go to... to the space? What the hell? I mean... Agreed? Yeah. I'll show you the city after classes. Cool. What time do you finish? About five. Yep. Well, same for me here. Even if you're late, I'll wait. Hey. Good. Hey, Marin, I'll wait. Bye. See you, bye. Nadia, are you together now, right? This is my own business. Nadia, please forgive me. I didn't want to offend you. I got drunk and I was stupid. Please. Of course I forgive you. You are so kind and cool. Why should we lose our friendship because of some guys? If everyone works out for you and Oleg, I will be glad. We good? Yeah. And I'm sorry it happened. I like him and I think he likes me back. Take a closer look at him. A girl like you needs a serious relationship. Nothing like that. He offered a right and sightseeing. And you agreed? Well, yes, I didn't know the city. All right, come on. You are fired. Well, yeah. What a parasite. And Lorca is good to added fuel to the fire. Okay, we will see if those lose it. That's their business. What am I supposed to do now? Just wait. Wait? He has no other option. He will beg you. Wait and you will see. Yeah. He will. Yeah, I don't want to see him. So what do you want? I want to work, but without all this stress. Vera, hello. Hi, dear. Listen, I don't know what's going on, but I had an appointment for the morning. I got fired. Okay, but what should I do? I found a job in the city and I'm having an interview in three hours. I have to look good. Yeah, the interview is a big thing. Vera, didn't you cut my hair at home? Well? Can you do the same for Nina? You still need money, right? Vera, I'm begging you. All right, let's go. Come on. That's great. All together, my dears. Go, come in. Welcome. Feel at home. <laughs> Hey. So, shall we? Let's go.
Good luck and enjoy. Take her to the embankment. It's beautiful there. I will. Bye. Our daughter just called. She said she is 19 and she has a private life. Can you imagine this? Well, she's not a child. Moreover, we ourselves gave her this freedom. You don't have to worry, dear. For example, I am calm for my Nadia. <laughs> but so well, this is at least strange. You left her almost immediately after her birth. You didn't jump up from bed at night. You didn't drag her to the hospital. You didn't see her grow. You don't know anything about her. You're, in fact, complete strangers to each other. You're a bitter woman. I'm not bitter, but practical. I understand this life, and I have my own opinion. I'm not like you. No, for real. I'm curious what kind of personality your daughter might have developed in this. What's its name? Zagorsk? Zagorsk. Vika, where such negativity comes from? You never saw her. She's great. She's a very inelegant girl. You will see it as soon as I introduce you. Well, all right. And when are you planning to do that? At any suitable time. For example, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day off. Let's invite her to lunch. Besides, you're such a great cook. Right. Lunch is lunch. Let's settle it after three o'clock. Otherwise, I won't be able to cook anything. Okay, it's a deal. I'll call her right now. Thank you for a wonderful day. Everything was... was amazing. I'm glad you liked our city. And you... you... What? I like you. And by the way, you smell delicious. That's your present. I'm sorry. Hello? Yes, Daddy? Hey. Tomorrow at lunchtime? Nothing? Yes, I can. Oh, I'll be very happy. Okay, see you. Bye. Dad invited me to lunch tomorrow. Great. You have a full life. My parents are on business trips all the time. But as soon as they back, I will introduce you to them. I should go. Listen, maybe tomorrow we'll go to the theater or to the cinema. What do you say? Sounds good. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Victor, hello. Why are you sitting? Prepare the income. And there is no income. Wait, what? Not a dime. Well, Verka doesn't work here and everyone bypasses your dream. Dragina, what are you sitting here for? Don't raise your voice at me, Victor. Tear your throat, but there will no money from me. 
You were aware that Verka brings all the money. Now she's gone and you have nothing. So you've been sitting here all day and doing nothing, am I right? Why do you say it? Victor, I explored local newspapers, looking for a job section, and I did some calls on my own initiative. Well done. Well done. So what? Are there applicants? Yes. But all of them strive to find work in the city. And no one wants to go to this hole. Close here. Do I have to go to work tomorrow? Huh? Yeah, I needed to grab more sausages. One with cheese. They're delicious. They make me sick. Do I make you feel sick too? No, not yet. What do you want? Don't start it, man. We need to talk with your girl. There is nothing to talk about. Are you sure? What if I tell my dad that you're stealing from the factory? Right, he will kick you out. Okay, cow, don't tremble, everything's fine. I came up to find about Nadia. How is she? With whom did she leave? To which city? Why? I missed her. Want to see her before she forgets me. Even if I knew, I wouldn't say. So you don't want to talk normally. You can't live without getting on my nerves. Get her in the car, come on! Stop it! Stop! Stop! I know where Nadia is. I'll tell you. See? That's what I'm talking about. I'm all yours. Marina, hey. Listen, I was thinking, if Oleg and Nadia are together now, maybe we can go to the club? Let's party. Fuck off. Rude. I got in line first today. No, I'm first. Ladies, ladies, don't make a mess. We accept everyone in order of registration. What if I'm not registered? Then wait for some free time. Maybe someone on the record won't come. Or until the last client. I will follow. I'm on duty. On duty, right? I don't understand. What's going on here? Who allowed? Forgot to ask your permission. Call Vera immediately. Yeah, in a moment. Almost there. Immediately. Ha! Scream at your Clara at home. Tamara, you better not piss me off. You will... I will what? Call Vera. I need to talk to her. Please. Please. Please? So you know the magic word. Yeah? Victor, your dream went down in flames. You... Clients don't go to you. These are temporary difficulties. Soon I... There... There will be no rebound from customers. Do you hear me? Yes. Why are you laughing? There will be no rebound. Is your ham-handed Laura going to attract them? Only in your mind. You're here. Do you want to hire me again? Huh? You wish. Come on. Close your private shop. Right now. Hey, what does it mean? And who will serve us? You? Get out. Look at him. Get out. Go command your dream. All right. Come on, come on. Go away. <laughs> Kyiv Telecom Film Company Production. Crystal Dream, Episode 3.
You should try this salad. Our daughter loves it. Thank you. It's so delicious. Did you cook yourself? Of course. Cooking is my hobby. Do you have any hobbies, Nadia? Yes, but this is more of a dream than a hobby. Our daughter dreamed of studying in London, and her dad and I did everything possible to make her dream come true. And now our girl is absolutely happy. I'd love to meet her. I think it will happen soon. She has to come home for the holidays, right, Vika? Absolutely. Christina is very lucky to have you as her parents. You're wonderful. Thank you. Nadia, but why are you saying it? Aren't you lucky? Do you have any complaints about your mother? No, not at all. Mom is a wonderful person and loves me more than anything. She's a hairdresser, isn't she? Yes, and a great one. Everyone in the city loves and appreciates her. Probably she doesn't make good money. Well, it's okay for Zagorsk. We had enough. Well, here isn't Zagorsk. Life is very expensive. Nadia, for God's sake, forgive me, curiosity, but how are you going to pay for a living? No worries, my mother promised to send me money. And now I have debt by my side. He bought me so many gifts, an expensive phone. He pays for tuition, and he even rented an apartment, so I'll be fine. Yes. My husband is a very generous person, sometimes even too much. Well, the main thing, he's not greedy. And you are very sweet and hospitable. Thank you. Very nice. <clears throat> well... I think we'll move on to dessert, shall we? Sorry, I probably won't have time. Are you in a hurry? Yes, gotta run. Go into the cinema with my boyfriend. Well, it's a pity. I wish you a good evening, Nadia. Thank you. Let me walk you. I'll definitely cook something next time. Dad, I really, really liked her. I think she liked you back. Really? Yes. You have a very cozy and beautiful house. And I already love my sister Christina. All right, I need to go. I'll call you tonight and tell you everything. Can't wait. You promised. You promised me that your daughter won't affect our family in any way. And also, you promised it wouldn't affect our family budget. And what I just heard? You've lied to me. I wanted to help like a normal father. Help? Well, help her, but without me. And don't use the expense of my firm where you work. Otherwise, I will be forced to renegotiate our marriage contract. And it will bring you back to the level of life I pulled you out with my father's money. Or rather, my money. I advise you to think carefully and pick the right side. I'll think about it. Yes, and one more thing. Never, do you hear me? I never want to see your daughter in my house. Hey, mother. Oh, I mean, mom. You're on fire. The new graphics card is so cool. Although the monitor should be changed, huh? 
Ask your father. Are you having dinner without me? You're not a train. You don't come on schedule. Sit. Well, son, how are you? Not bad. The new graphics card is super. Graphics flies to the maximum. Just the monitor should be replaced. The card would be meaningless without it. Why don't you like the old monitor? You see, the diagonal is small and also other parts suck. Anyway, you won't get it. Well, of course. Your father is a moron. Man, where are you? You use me as an ATM machine. What am I saying? Man. Mom, something wrong with Dad? What's the matter? How do you talk to your parents? Is she a servant to you, a slave? You good? Go to your room. Did you hear his voice? It's all your fault. Of course mine. Maybe you should take part in his upbringing. Did you agree to drive me crazy today? Where are your family? What happened? Can you explain it? Why are you yelling? Look at him. Did you ask to fire Vera? So I did. Great. What's next? Nothing. No one even sticks their nose into our dream. They are all at her gates. She's making money hand over fist. Where is our revenue? How are we going to pay taxes? It's not only about the monitor. We won't be able to buy bread. I should never have listened to you. All right, it's all my fault. Poor thing, such a soft heart. Have mercy on me. I can't pay taxes. I wonder how is Yavira going to pay taxes? Huh? Do you hear what you're saying? Well, how can she pay if she doesn't have a license? That's right. I liked the film a lot. Yes. And there was one moment in the end. I almost cried. You cried. I have seen it. All right. I cried. All the girls in the hall were crying. Maybe. Well, of course. Such love is a dream. Only at the end. It's not clear. Will they be all right? Of course. This is Hollywood. I also have a dream. What kind of? Crystal. Will you tell me? No. Otherwise, it won't come true. No offense. I'm not offended. And I'm sure every girl should have her own dream and secrets. See you tomorrow. See you. What's wrong? Nadia. I feel like a traitor, Vika. Go to sleep. Maybe miss tomorrow. Dad. Dad. Oleg? Hey. Listen, I... I missed you. I can't wait till tomorrow. Can I stay? Yes. <laughs> well? Things are going well for us. Enough for bread and butter. With God's blessing. The place is not spacious enough. 
That's okay. My Tolik will think of something. Maybe building outbuilding is handy. Good evening, Auntie Vera. Hi, Ksusha. I took some liver for you. I'll put it in the fridge. Thank you. So? How is Nadia? Is there any news? What's the news? Everything is fine. She's studying. Satisfied with the program. Well done. Nadia is a bright student. And how is her private life? Does she have a boyfriend? Well, well, well. I don't know anything about the boyfriend. No, no, no. What's wrong? Nothing. You are... My first... I know. That's why I love you even more. I love you too. I don't. Won't you leave me? Don't even think about it. My parents will be back soon. I will introduce you. Where are they? In Africa, they work under a contract. They are translators. Know many languages. I'd say they're cool. What if they don't like me? This cannot be. I'll be late for the lecture. So what? Huh? So what? Yes, come in. Sit down. The chief isn't here yet. Hello. Hello. But we will accept your application. Do you have a pen? No. Here. Will your boss get it? Yes, of course. We have strict rules. Yeah. Monopolistic competition is the competition of monopolistic firms whose products are typical. An oligopoly implies the presence of large firms in the industry. Each of these controls a significant market share. And the third conclusion, in the market of imperfect competition, non-market prohibited forms of struggle are used. How are you in the lake? All is good. Financial fraud, economic espionage. Have you already had something? Savelyeva Ivansova, have you forgotten that conversations are not allowed? Sorry. And fourth, antitrust law. And how? Cock. Fixes the fundamental rules of activity in the market of economic entities. Please memorize these definitions for our next class, that's all. Savelyeva, can I have a minute? I'll wait for you downstairs. Yes, I'm sorry. I won't talk anymore. I promise. Very good. But I want to ask you for a favor. You done? As you see. Nice. And where's Nadia? Dolzhensky holds her. Why? He often do like that. Especially with the ones he likes. What do you mean? You like a baby. They are there. Where are they going? A lot of students like him. Everyone talks about him. But you don't listen to this gossip. What gossip, Marina? Just don't. Nadia, where are you?
Oleg, I am sorry. I can't tell you now. Yes, it's a secret. Good. I am waiting for you in the evening. Bye. Is that your boyfriend? Yes, since recently. Does father know? Not yet. I can get reach him. Do you know if he is alright? Probably went on a business trip. Don't worry. Nadia left you. Huh? Yes, I didn't expect it. Don't worry. Not all women are like that. There are rare exceptions. Like me. Do you want to go to the bar tonight? Have a drink? Why not? Hold on, I gonna call Siroga. Sure. How can we go without Siroga? So, turns out this Sichov snitch on his competitor. What a man. Set up the girl. Yeah, she messed up his whole business. And he doesn't pay taxes. Do you even know who is that? Should I? Well, once a month, we visit the girls to get a haircut from her. Sichov is the owner of that barber shop. Oh. She decided to work for herself, but he can't leave her alone. Even worse, he fired her. Well, she blew him off. You got it, right? And now he won't let her work. Yes. Tell me, what would you do in her place? Spat in the face. Marusia. What are we going to do with this statement? Listen, you and I have so many documents. Maybe one gets lost. Please give me this document. Well, well. Tomorrow I will go and personally conduct a test purchase. And if one of you warns Savelyeva, both of you will be punished. Conversation is over. I'll take your coat. Nadia. Hello. You made it. It's great. The doctor forbids me to move a lot, but I want to look good. Do you have complications? Alona is exaggerating. And the doctor lets her do it, so do I. I hope we didn't disturb you too much. No, not at all. I'm very glad. Show it. Here. I don't understand. What is it? Revenue. Do you call these papers revenue? Ivanich came in to trim the temples, right? Well, what do you want from me? When there are work here, at least I had some orders. And no one comes here now. Victor, can you get her back? Just listen to her. Who begged me to fire her as quickly as possible, huh? Do you want me to persuade her to return and do what she wants? This won't happen. And by the way, soon she won't have time for clients. You'll see. Yeah? Wow, that's incredible. I even look younger. Really, Max? And the color is amazing. It suits you. Nadia, you are a miracle. Can I recommend you to my friends? They also have no time to go to salons, and my place looks very convenient. Yes, of course. I will be grateful. Great. And how much do your services cost? I don't know. I didn't think about it. I'm just learning. But every work must be paid. Nadia, you made a queen out of me. Max would pay at least 3,000 at the hairdresser. Yes? Uh-huh. Here you go. 
Stop it, Isolot. I can't take it. Don't try to refuse. You honestly earned it. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Listen, Seroga, she lied to me. Uh, I can't stand lies. Oleg, forget about this, Nadia. You will find another one. Anyone will be happy with you. I don't need any. I need her. Do you get it? Listen, dude, you are screwed. Because Nadia, she is that girl. That girl? What is that supposed to mean? You know, there are girls. You look at them, they're angels. But one closer look, and you see their bitchness. Don't you dare talk about her like that. She's... she's different, she's real. She's kind. Pure. It's just something went wrong with us, and I'm a fool. We have to... we have to talk. Yes, we need to find out what's wrong. I will call her. I should go, right now. Easy, easy, man. Come on. You need to get some air. Let's, let's go, let's go, come on. We're gonna be back. Nadia. Finally. Oleg. Hello, baby girl. Hello. And who are you? I'm the owner of this apartment, Lydia. And you, as I see, are my tenant. Yes, my name is Nadia, and I live here. Will you let me into the apartment? Yes, of course. Come on in. It's good that you keep the apartment clean and tidy. Well, yes, I'm trying. Waiting for someone? Uh, yes, my fiancé. Whether he's your fiancé or not, I don't care. I'm only interested in my money. Do you know that the apartment of the daily rent? No. I got the money a week in advance. There were no more submissions from you. Do you intend to pay? Dad pays for the apartment. I have repeatedly called your dad. He didn't want to talk to me. That's why I came here. Either pay or move out. So? Right now I don't have that kind of money. Then get out? Wait, it's some kind of mistake. Dad is on a business trip right now. I will call him and he will pay. Good. I give you a day to find the money. Otherwise, move out, baby girl. I advise you to hurry, because there are a lot of applicants for this apartment. Good morning, dear. Hello? 
Why am I here? Don't you remember? I remember how I got drunk like a goat. Then nothing. Don't you remember what you told me last night? Listen, I was drunk. Forgive me. You were in heat so passionate. Yes, strange. I usually pass out. So I did a miracle with you and we can repeat it. Marina, you... You... Where are you going? Uh huh? I need to find Nadia. What? What about me? What about us? You have to understand, there is no... us. I made a stupid mistake, forgive me. Don't get me wrong, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Hello, Wika. Hello, what do you need? I can get to my dad. And I'm worried. Is he all right? Yes. He left. On a business trip. It's good that nothing happened. And when he comes back? For you? Never. And you won't get any more money from him. Is that exactly what you wanted? Why are you talking to me like that? I can say whatever I think is right. And I advise you to forget the way to this house. Vika, who was that? Nobody. Wrong address. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, or you'll be late for work. Bye. What are you doing here? Don't you want to tell me anything? Get in the car, faster. You see, Nadja, life is such a thing. You think of one action, but you get something completely different, and you suddenly... Are you... leaving me? Well, why do you say so? I'm not leaving you, but... My wife is a very complicated person. I... I don't want to ruin my relationship with my family. What about me? Am I not your family? I'm your daughter, just like Christina. Christina is not your sister. I married a woman with a child. But it doesn't change anything. I will help you. I'm just in a bit of tight spot right now. My wife manages all the money and business. And she won't let you... See me, right? Not really. It's just hard for her to accept our relationship. I've faced a choice. You have already chosen. Not me, but money. No need to dramatize. It's just a period, and I'm sure it will all work out soon. 
Vika will understand everything. We will meet. I will go. You won't. I promise. Are you going to the university? Let me give you a lift. Don't. I don't need anything from you. I told you, Vera is good with her hands. Here? Well, so beautiful. Come on, say hi to mom. Vera? There is a man without an appointment. All right, let him in. Hello. Hello. I just got you here recently. Is it already overgrown? I need to trim it a little bit. Okay. Let's trim. Not a big deal. Take off your coat. Here. Thank you. Over here, right? Yes, yes. Sit down. <clears throat> Chin up. Like this. Marina! Marina! Hey. Hi. Where have you been? Why are you skipping classes? I'm in trouble. They kicked me out of my apartment. How is that? What about father? I don't want to talk about him. Had a fight? It doesn't matter. I have nowhere to live. I don't even know where to leave my things. What about Oleg? Did you call him? I think I made a mistake with him, too. Yeah. Let's move to my dorm, and then we'll figure it out. Marina. Thank you so much. What would I do without you? How are you? Fine, well. How much do I owe you for the job? It's embarrassing to say. Stop it. I did nothing. How much do I owe you? Well, a hundred. Thank you. Will you give me a receipt or check? Cashier's check? Yes. Sorry, I guess I need to return it. Too late. Why? Tax service. Zarubin Ivan. You're doing something that's called illegal business. Tax service. Yes, now I have to pay you. You, you tell me how much, tell me. Vera, don't make this any harder than it is already. Bribery is already a criminal offense. Am I under arrest? No. Well, I'm not authorized to do that. Now we'll go to the tax office, you write an explanation, and we decide what to do with you. Well, are you going? Yes. What else can I do? I think you'd better change your clothes. What happened? Mr. Zarubin is closing our barbershop because it's an illegal business. Right, Mr. Zarubin? I don't understand. Who are you? What are you doing here? So where are you taking here? You don't have any right. Firstly, I am the head of the tax service. And secondly, no one is dragging her anywhere. If she doesn't want to go, okay, her choice. I have to call the police. So are you coming with me? Of course I'm coming. Take it easy, Toma. Look at him. Found an intruder. She was illegally fired even though she worked hard. What else could she do? Hey, Marina. Who is this? New girl? Do you have permission? She has, Semenich. She has. She can move in when I see permission. Come in. 
Nevertheless, I'm waiting for an official order to move in. Do you need an additional set of linen blankets? Yes, Semenich. Required. I'll pick it up later. Well, Nadia, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Now you can see how ordinary students live, taking a break from royal life. Yeah, I had only a week of this royal life. <sighs> That's good. You didn't have time to get used to it. You better think about how you are going to live. I can't pay Semenich every day. Marina, don't worry. I will return everything to you, promise. And how will you do it? Going to ask your mom? No, but... No, I'm sorry. Hello, yeah? Hello? Hi. We agreed to be on a first-name basis. Are you busy? Can you speak? Yes, of course. So, listen. All my friends are delighted with my new hairstyle. Everyone asks me where I found such a master. And I promised you would make queens out of them, too. Tell me, how about today? Can you come in? Yes, I can. I'll be there in half an hour. Good. Bye. Where are you going? I... I have work. I'll explain everything later, okay? Bye. Bye. It's unbelievable. To become an illegal entrepreneur in my old age. Vera, don't joke about old age. You're right. You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding? If you say. Now is not the best time for jokes, but... When I saw you for the first time, you also seemed to me a handsome man. You see? And where are we going? I suggest we have lunch for a start. Is it a joke? Why? I will tell you a secret. I'm much kinder and more accommodating on a full stomach. Besides, I can thank you for the wonderful haircut. For record, wonderful haircut from an illegal businesswoman. So you're breaking the law. We don't violate anything. You cut my hair, I want to take you to lunch. So in our state, it is legal to work for food, if I catch it correctly. Well, that's right in general. How long will we play the guessing game? All right. Let's get down to business, as they say. All right. I know about your situation. Your former employer, Victor, wrote a slander against you about a legal business. And he fired you first. But you don't have to worry about him. You don't know him. You don't know me. I don't. But that's not my point. He fired you with several violations of the law. I can help you get back to work if you want to. Oh, no, no. Honestly, let me pay fine or whatever else I can do. I won't return to Victor. I don't want to disappoint you, but there won't be a fine. Why? Vera, have you earned a lot these days? <laughs> See? Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, of course... You can't work like that. We need to legalize your business. Do you understand it? There is just one thing I don't understand. Why do you need it? That's nothing. I will help you and explain everything. There is just one thing I don't understand. Why do you need it? Why are you doing all this? After all, there must be some reason. There is. Yeah? I don't know how to explain it. Just say it. You still misunderstand. Split it out. Good. Do you remember my first appearance in your barber shop? Of course I do. I had a lot of clients. That day, you said something about my hands. Hands. Hands? Right. You have amazing hands. They are so nice and gentle, like my wife's. These are the hands you can trust. My wife, Lesia, when she stroked my hair, any headache instantly disappeared. You have the same magical hands as hers. 
And now you'll say that she has left you, and there is no one else to stroke your hair. It's trivial, vulgar, and awful. No. My wife died in a car accident three years ago. Our son died with her. I'm... I'm so sorry. For God's sake, forgive me, I'm kind of... It's not good, sorry, I didn't know. I don't know anything about you. No problem, how could you know? I'm an introverted person. Maybe I've always been like this. Maybe I've changed after all these events. To be honest, I came to your city to start a new life. So? That's it. I'm ready. Sveta, you are gorgeous. Yes. Well, I always knew you were beautiful, but now you're just fire. Agree. If Zhenya doesn't propose to you, he will be an absolute idiot. Well, I'll think about marrying him or not. And that is right. Nadia. Thank you very much. You are gold. I'm still learning. It's not true. Nadia, you are already an artist, and a very cool artist. That's right. This is for you, Nadia. Thank you. No, thank you. And I have to go. Go, see you. Goodbye. Oh, gorgeous. Hey, Nadia. Hello, Maxim. Are you leaving already? Yes. It's good that I saw you. I need to talk. Something happened? No, nothing at all. I want to move to a dorm, and therefore I need permission from the dean's office. Can you tell me how to get it? Why do you need a student's dorm? Your father rented an apartment for you. Yes, but it's expensive, and I feel uncomfortable asking my dad for money. A dorm sounds more fun. Sounds more fun, huh? You are an adult, and you have the right to make your own decisions. Tomorrow I will sign the application for you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. So he told you what to do? Yeah, he did. That's it. That's it. Where can you get money for all this? He didn't tell you. And that's a lot, right? Well, look here. Pay for the registration, expand the room, equip it. Don't forget about a separate entrance. Water, hot water, cold water. Can you imagine what kind of money this is? Of course. My tolik will help with the reconstruction. And then what? What? Save money or what? Ivan said that we can delay the registration. What are we going to do? You know what? I'll go to the city to get a license and to take a loan, right? And when to go? Tomorrow. All right. Hi. Hello. Where were you? Worked. And how much did you get? Six thousand. Not bad. For one evening. Can you share a spot? I'll try to. Do you remember Dolzhansky held me after the lecture? Yes. He asked me to help his wife. She is pregnant and it's hard for her to go to the hairdresser. So... I cut it and dyed it. And she liked it. As a result, she recommended me to her friends. So I've been working all day today. God died and styled them tart as a dog. But I made money. They promised they would recommend me to their friends. The work will be permanent. Oh, yeah. Dolzhansky said there wouldn't be problems with living in a dorm. He will sign the papers.
Great. See, life is getting better. Maybe you will make up with your father. No, absolutely not. And Oleg? How about him? What about Oleg? If he needs me, he will show up. So you still love him? Marina. I need to wash up. There. Contact information, Alena Dolzhanskaya. <clears throat> How long do we have to hang out around here? Maybe Natka is not at the university. She is here. I checked her schedule. We wait. Well, wait, huh? Ah, there she is, man. Had to work? Yes, I'm terribly late. Hey. Hi. Listen, I need to talk to Nadia. She's late. I understand it, Nadia. This is a serious conversation. Give me a minute. Okay. Come here. What the hell is that? Is that my replacement? Listen, let's beat his ass, shall we? All right, but not here. I need to think. Yeah, it's my fault I didn't come to you. But you lied to me. I lied? When? Why did you go to Doljansky's place? Are you talking about this? Are you jealous? Of course I am. Do you know what they say about him? Oleg, this is... this is such a misunderstanding. I'm in a hurry now. Let's meet in the evening and discuss everything. Back to him. Not to him, to his wife. I don't understand. I help his wife. And now I really need to go. They are waiting for me. Well, let's meet at the Berek Cafe in the evening. Remember, we went there. At seven. At seven. All right, Senya Kesha, follow this dick. We will, don't worry. Keep in touch. Come on. Hello, gorgeous. Get lost. Come on, don't start. I came to talk. Do you know Nadia Savelyeva? Maybe. And who are you to her? Her fiancé, from Zagorsk. Fiancé? Yes. Hi. Oh, so sugary. Really? And I like it. He persuaded you to go on a date with him, didn't he? Well, yes. We meet tonight. He has dumped you once. He will do it again. I love him. It's up to you. I warned. Where are you going? Cafe Beric. Nice place. All right. I gotta go. Good luck. Enough. Go. Break it. Stop whining. Let's get out of here.
Kyiv Telecom Film Company Production. Crystal Dream, Episode 4. Yeah? Cafe Beric, where is it? Gotcha. I'm on my way. So, guys, we'll do next. I'll talk to my bride. You're waiting for me in the car. We will see what comes next. Thank you. Would you like to order anything else? Not yet. Hello, Nadia. Sit. What are you doing here? Came to see you. And I see you aren't happy about that. What you waiting for? None of your business. Don't wait, Nadia. No need. How do you know? It doesn't matter. But he stays in the hospital for a long time, that's for sure. He's alive. Yet. And if I find out that you continue to see him behind my back, and I will, your Aleza will die immediately. This is my first warning to you. Understood? Why are you doing this? Do you remember how I said you belong to me? You're mine and mine only. Do you remember? And if you suddenly decide to snitch the pigs, I'll kill you both. Understood? Yes. <laughs> See? You're a good girl. And what did you understand, Nadia? Repeat it. I will never see a leg again. Just please, don't touch him. I always keep my word, Nadia. So... Maybe we'll have a glass of champagne with you, huh? For a nice evening. Please let me go. I feel sick. Do you want to leave? Fine, go. I won't stop you. When you're done here and you change your mind, come back to me in Zagorsk. I will accept you right away. You'll be golden. Well, how was your date? It's all over. I told you. What happened? Didn't he show up? Please don't ask me anything. I have a lecture in the morning and a client in the evening. Lie down and rest. Uh, Oleg is in the hospital. Some thugs beat him up. It's terrible. Nadia, do you hear? We'll visit him tomorrow. I'm sorry, but we are done. I told you. Tell him to... to get better. What do the doctors say? Everything is fine. I will be okay. Gonna let me out in a week. Why didn't she come? Is she okay? Everything is fine with her. Said hello. A hello? Where is she? I don't know. At the class, probably. I don't understand anything. I warn you what she is. Do you think she only slept with you? Stop. This cannot be true. 
You are naive. I'm tired. Go away. Soon you will know everything yourself. Get better. Hello, Alena. Hello. It doesn't matter. Are you aware that your husband has a love affair with his student, Nadia Savilyeva? Yes. So you don't know? Who am I? I'm your friend. I don't want you to feel cheated. And even worse, in your position. Goodbye. Hello. Alena, hi. Forgive me, please. I was detained at the lecture. I will be there soon. Ask them to wait. I no longer need your services. Never call here again. And don't come. And it turns out that the banks refused me, or they offer such conditions that I don't know what to do. What should I do? And what about your Zarubin? Zarubin is not mine. And he did too much. He closes his eyes to so many things. He himself can fall under the article. Where can we get so much money? I have no idea. We have guests. Hey, girls. Hi. Who has come to us? Yes. Apparently, you can't cope with business. So I offer mutually beneficial cooperation. What will be my advantage? Well, you can't make money on your own. And to be honest, I've lost a lot without you, so I suggest we combine our efforts and opportunities. With one condition. What? You will never lay your hands on me, all right? Don't even try to take a horizontal position. I told you, this is all only about business partnership. You have my word. All right. God. Then... You need to call Zarubin. No, no way. He is a businessman, and he already helped me a lot. No need. I see. Then I'll call him. No, you won't. We cope with everything. Are you still set? I went to the hospital. It was a robbery. He doesn't remember the attackers, so they're unlikely to be found. And I left without a job. This is bad. Why? I don't know. I called Alena and she told me she no longer needed my services. These pregnant women are so moody. Never mind. I'm okay. I need to pay for my studies and that's it. Hey, girls. Hi, Samoylova. Hi. Nadia, I've heard you know how to cut hair. And can I? Great. I have a date in an hour. And look at my hair, it's a disaster. I have no time for a hairdresser. Maybe you can help? Haircut and styling, 700. All right. Just make it good. Yes, of course. Let's start. Vera. God, Victor, are you out of your mind? Vera, I'm, I'm here to do business. Come on. 
Well? Well? Have you decided? Yes. And what do you have? I agree to work together. As partners. That's a completely different conversation, Vera. I always knew you are a smart woman. Things will work right. Well, let's celebrate. No, I have nothing to celebrate yet. Just a little bit. No, I won't. Celebrate if you want. Well, I'll have a drink. Go ahead. I wanted to say something. Vera, come to me. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't stop. Let me go. I didn't disturb you. You're just in time. Man, who are you? Of course you're disturbing us. Don't you see we're having conversation? Yes, I can clearly see it. Victor, please leave. Get out. Wait, why should I go? You heard me. You're disturbing us. What do you need? Come later. Stay. Don't you understand me? What are you doing? Yes, I see. You will take your hands off. Hands, get off me! What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Are you nuts? You will break my arm. The woman asks you to leave. Moron! Oh, God. My arm. What don't you understand? I said my arm. <sighs> Did I do something wrong? You did everything right. And who was it? Victor, my former boss. Well, I told you. And what did he want? Well, you've seen it. Why are you here? Tamara came to my office and told me everything. Toma. So I know everything. Well, what did this Victor want? Proposed a business partnership. Well, you saw it. Well, that's all. And... <laughs> Time passed. All right, done. Well... Here you go. Take your thousand. And I have no change. Change? Marina told it would cost a thousand. Well, yes. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks, bye. Why did you fool here? We arranged on 700. I'm doing it for you. My bad forgot to warn you, by the way. I bought you expensive shampoo. Sorry. <laughs> International competition, Crystal Caesars. The winners will receive a cash prize and an internship in Paris. Probably it's for the luxury class masters. Maybe I should try. Is that what I think it is? Yes. I did a test and was in a consultation. And who is the father? Don't you know? I was only with the leg. Have you thought about abortion? No. I decided to keep the baby. Hello, Oleg. Do not interrupt. I'll have to see you. It's about you and Nadia. So tomorrow, Nadia will tell you that she's pregnant. So is she pregnant or not? She is. You aren't a father, but Dolzhensky is. Do you remember when she went to see him? She told me she was with his wife. You don't know much about Nadia, do you? Do you think her father rented that apartment? No. 
She had a sugar daddy, and then Delzhansky impregnated her. So she told her sugar daddy that was his child. He isn't a fool. He did an examination and realized that this was someone else's child and kicked her out. And she rushed to Delzhansky. He wasn't happy about all that and said he wouldn't leave his wife. Yes, and even more. Nadia has a fiancé in Zagorsk. He attacked you with his friends. Why? She asked him. So that you won't disturb her anymore. Delicious. Where's the salt? Alena, you've been kind of weird lately. What's happening? Well, apparently there is a reason. What's the reason? Talk to me, please. A number and? A woman called from this number and said you and Nadia Savelyeva are having an affair. Affair? With Savelyeva? It's ridiculous. I'm not laughing. And you believed? Sure you did. It's just... it's just someone's stupid joke. Well, there, there, calm down, calm down. It's just a stupid joke. More precisely, not stupid, but cruel, especially in your condition. Don't you dare think like that, I beg you. Now I understand why Nadia stopped visiting our house. Yes. A woman called, right? Most likely, this is a student from our university. Usual female revenge. Revenge? But who needs it? Why? I'll find out. Fortunately, the girl who called was not very smart. All phones of our students are in their personal cases. Here is the article. Here are the competition crystal scissors. Oh, God. What is it and where? What is it? Here's the price. An internship in Paris. And the cash grant is huge. With that kind of money, we'll open a saloon without any man. <laughs> are you crazy? You are? You have a sick fantasy. I'm more than okay. You sit here all day, feeling sorry for yourself. Waiting for money to fall from the sky right into your hands. But you will get some only if you do something. So, come on, hold yourself and get ready. I'm not going anywhere. No, you'll go. You will run faster than a bus. And if you don't, I'm not your friends anymore. And I don't want to know you anymore. Got it? Got it. Hey. Hello. Thank you for coming. You said it's a serious conversation. Yes, it is. So, split it out. I hope to hear a secret. There are no secrets. I just love you. Do you? 
Why didn't you come to the hospital? Forgive me. I couldn't. I was afraid of one person. Or rather, no. Not like that. I was afraid for your life. I see. And who is threatening my precious life? I can't tell you, and it doesn't matter. Secrets and riddles again. If that's it, I'll go. No, there is something else. Well? I'm expecting your baby. You know, I'm not surprised. I'm serious, Alec. You better tell this tale to Dolzhansky. What does Maxim have to do with it? I don't think you call him Maxim. You call him Maxik or Maximka? Are you drunk? On the contrary, I'm sober. If that's it, goodbye. And don't call me again. Alec. I understood everything about you. And about your crystal dream. Farewell. Well? He refused both from me and from the child. I told you, he is a bastard. Maybe you should go back to Zagorsk. I can't go home. Anyway, everyone will find out you're pregnant. You have to take an academic leave. That's enough. You need to think about the child. What do I have to lose? I don't want to be an economist and never wanted to be. It was my mother's dream. And I have mine. Why so long? At least it's beautiful. Beautiful. Nadia? Mom? Why are you here? Hello, Toma. And you? We came to the competition. The top prize is ours. I also came to claim the grand prize. Are you nuts? Why? Go back to the university now! Vera. Mom. Right now. Just don't worry, I... I dropped out of university. Wait, are you crazy? Have you been lying to me all this time? No, I... Well, yes, Mom. I lied that I want to be an economist. I want to be a stylist like you. Vera? Do you even hear what you're saying? Mom, Vera, don't insult her. Let the girl take part in the competition. She's gonna mess up in the first round. It will immediately help her to understand the importance of education. Thank you for your support. That's wrong. Are you okay? Hold on. Nadia. 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 Wait, Vera. She has food poisoning. I got food poisoning like this 20 years ago. Nine months later, I gave birth to Nadia. Do you think? I'm sure. Vera, let's not get nervous, I beg you. The most important thing for us now is to win the competition. Guys, don't you want to go to the club today? People say it will be cool. I mean, what about you, Oleg? Ivan Sova, can I have a moment with you? Of course, Maxim Maximovich. Do you know why your friend Savelyeva stopped visiting classes? Does she know that she has a lot of retakes? I guess she dropped out. She left the dorm. Where is she? In Zagorsk. Why did she leave? Don't you know? No, I don't, young man. Strange. It's strange that you don't know where your mistress is. Plus, she's pregnant. My pregnant wife also heard this dirty gossip. Someone called her and told all sort of fables about me and Savelyeva. Bastards. Yes. 
Bastards. Here's the phone number. Do you know to whom it belongs? No. This is your number. This is not my number. I know it by heart. It's easy to check. I didn't call. Someone set me up. This is also easy to check. All calls to my wife's phone are automatically recorded. Do you want to listen? No, I don't. Why did you do it? Because I love you. What a bitch. She framed Nadia all the time. I hope our incident is over. Maxim Maximovich, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Like they say, it's in the past, but Kudryashov, I recommend you deal with this ugly situation. Break up with a girl like Nadia, especially in her position, it is not manly. I know. I don't know how to find her. Vasily, Nadia's father, may know her address in Zagorsk. I'll give you his number. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I announce the second stage of the Crystal Scissors contest. Applause! This will be the shortest but the toughest round. Man's hairstyles. You will have only 20 minutes. Only three finalists will remain in the competition. I wish you all inspiration. Oh, mamma mia. What a nightmare. Everyone be ready to start on my mark. One, two, three, start! So time is running out. On my mark, you will stop. Whoever continues to work, they're out. After the word stop. So, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Friends, I warned you. Participants three and 84, you are unfortunately disqualified. I will ask you and the models to stand up and leave our hall. Rules are rules, folks. Models, stand up. Now the jury will evaluate the result. It remains to take the Bastille. Don't touch. Wow, that's cool. I like this one. My pleasure. Dear friends, a break is announced until the evening. Our judges, our juries, will announce your results after the meeting. Applause!
Hi. You still went to the competition? Yes. I'm so tired. That's good, we have two hours to sleep. And the final is in the evening. <sighs> what a fool you are. <laughs> you will never win this competition. <laughs> Pick your bags and get out of here. Marina, what's wrong? Oh, do you think your Oleg will forgive you? He knows that your moron Valok broke his head. How does he know? <laughs> Try to guess. I knew everything from the very beginning, while you were clicking your chicken brain. Come on, come on. Get ready. From the very first minute, I hate you. <laughs> Naive fool. I may be naive. And you're just rubbish. I feel sorry for you. I thought we were friends. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, our competition is coming to an end. This event will be broadcasted on television. Applause. Final part. Unique image. Three contenders must present their unique image. They will have two hours. No more. So? Allow me to introduce the top three finalists. Meet them with applause. So, the third place goes to Nadezhda Savelyeva from village Zagorsk. Applause. Congratulations. Oh, these emotions, this energy. Well, second place. I can't believe my eyes. Vera Savelyeva from Zagorsk. Applause. What a talented village, Zagorsk, right? So, give a big round of applause to our finalist who took first place. Jean-Michel Lecoq. Le France. France applause. It was worth driving such a long way to try to compete for a job in Paris. Your applause, please. Well, while I'm setting the timer, meet our stunning, adorable models. Your applause, please. Well, the finalists, are you ready? Well then, we start on my mark. Three, two, one, go!
Mom. Hey, hey, attention. Vera and Nadezhda, communication during the competition is prohibited. Both of you are deducted one point each. Vera, go to your place. I'm sorry. Sorry. So I start the countdown. Three, two, one, stop. Your applause. Well, Vera Savelyeva will be the first to present her work. Applause. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great, Verochka. How did you name your work? Thank you. My image is called Yelena the Beautiful. This is a combination of Greek and Slavic styles in a modern rethinking. Well, great! Thank you. Great! Your applause! Well, the next second participant who is going to present her design will be Nadezhda Savelyeva. Applause! How beautiful, right? How do you call your work? Wimps of Autumn. Is that all, or is there something to add? Yes. Everyone can feel the warmth and strength of the summer at this time of year. But at the same time, goldish yellow leaves are already appearing, and this is the favorite time of the year for all poets. Well, you've got it in a very poetic way. So, our third member, our... Genius. Monsieur, tell me, how do you call your work? Meduse la Gorgon. Wow. Meduse la Gorgon. How extravagant. Maybe you have something to add? Comments are no needed here. Merci to everyone. Thank you. Applause. Applause. I see that our juries are ready to name the winner. Thank you. In a few seconds, you will know the name of our winner. So, beautiful ladies and sir, the honorable third place takes Vera Savelyeva. Applause! Thank you, thank you. So, second place and the title of wise champion gets... Nadezhda Savelyeva. Applause. Applause. Just a second. Pardon me? A moment of your attention. According to the rules of our competition, each participant must prepare their own work and show it. You can't steal a famous... Italian idea. No, this is my idea. I have to say, unfortunately, that you are disqualified. And please, leave the stage. Go. Impossible. Si pas vrai. So, Nadezhda Savelyeva, the victory is yours. Hooray! Hooray! Hurrah! Bring in the prize! Congratulations! Hooray! Hi. Hi.
This is my Nadia. Don't you dare. I've fulfilled all your conditions, but you can't forbid me to be proud of my daughter and her talent, Vika. Hello? Yes, Oleg. Nadia has told me about you. Young man, I can't give everyone my daughter's address. What are your intentions? I can't live without her. I want to propose. Then I offer you to meet. At nine? Sure. This is a suitable time for me. Who calls you so late? Your star daughter. It doesn't matter. Just a business call. Yeah. Come on, like that, right? Don't forget me. Higher. Split the champagne. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. All right, Nadia. What will you spend the grand on? I don't know. Haven't decided. No, I want to go to Paris. For sure. She's going back to college and will cover her studies. Mom, you know everything. How can I study? Do you want to follow my steps? I don't advise you. I'll help you with the baby. We will help. Girls, congratulations again. Verochka, can I have you for a moment? Of course, I'm coming. Verochka, our main sponsor, offers you to join your daughter in Paris. Wow, it's out of the blue. I, I need to think. No, no, you don't. Just say yes. <laughs> Don't be angry with your mother. Things are not going well. In Zagorsk, she was fired from the barber shop. How did it happen? It's a long story. And she went to the competition to open her own business. Me, me, me. Good job, mommy. Aunt Vera, congratulations. Oh, it just fire. Show it, show it. It's fire, Nadia. <laughs> it's a fire. Don't forget our luggage. Mom, let's go. <laughs> and I believed. Ladies, let me congratulate you on a well-deserved victory. Thank you. This is for you. And for you. Thank you. And this is for you. Why me? Why? For moral support? For faith in victory? <laughs> well, yes, I called Ivan. So what? What? It is comfortable to travel into cars. Can you introduce me? Well, I know you. You are Nadia. I am Ivan Zarubin. Right. We need such people now. Yes, and you know, uh, I need you too. Look, it might be better to hang it to the left. To the left. Say when. Well, it looks ugly. All right, then to the right. No, no, hang in the middle. In the middle. All right. What is the difference? We need it to open a photography shop. Yes, you are right. Bankrupt, right? Good luck in selling your dream. What are you saying? Get lost. Maybe I feel sorry for the institution. Sure. It was the best barber shop until you fired Vera, monster. Now deal with it. You get what you deserve, and how much is it? Do you want to buy it? Of course I would buy it if I had money. All right, so ready. Mommy, wait. I have a surprise for you. Well? What are you doing here? Why doesn't Vera come out? Oh, I see. She's embarrassed. Decided to go back to work? No, I've bought a buyer for you. Who, her? So how much does it cost? You can't pay that much. Well, see. 300,000. You... Take everything. What? All right. Salt? Well, I think there won't be problems with making a purchase. 
Let's go. What are you so happy about? Life is an interesting thing. Mommy, the dreams is yours. I told you, get lost. You have nothing. Can you turn the right side harder? Yeah. Time passed. Hello. Hi. How did you find me? What are you doing here? Your father told me where you are. He asks you for forgiveness. Can you forgive him? I don't know. We need to talk. Will you forgive me? For what? For not believing. For betraying. And for my love. Love forgives everything. Love forgives, yes. But you? <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I'm sorry. I act like a boy. And I'm a father to be. Will you marry me? Yes. I love you. I love you too. Very much. Let's meet your parents. Yes. Yes? Yes. Let's go. Let's go.